Hi, it's Daryl again. Uh, today we're going to talk about radius walls and radius forms and a uh, simple method to uh, cut the, the radius forms for your, each type of radius that would happen to be on a job site. So number one thing is, is you determine the inside radius of the, of the form or the wall and determine the form size and then once you determine that you go into our product manual and it will give you the dimension of the slot that needs to be cut out of these forms in order to, order to uh, bend the forms to get them to fit that shape. So number one what I've done is I've chose a eight foot inside radius and I've determined that I'm going to cut every 12 inches on the form. Now if you go much tighter than an eight foot inside radius you'd need to cut every six inches on the form so the form would bend and hold that shape. What I did is I built a jig out of lumber and this jig I have will cut one form on each for each cut. Once I determined what my dimension was to cut out I looked in the manual it gave me that and now I determined that this inside radius eight foot I need to take an inch and an eighth out for each segment on this 12 inches on center. I made my guides so once my saw slides along each one of these edges I'm taking an inch and an eighth out so that's how I determine what my guides were so the more, ma more material I'd take out this, this jig would really only work for this eight foot inside radius with my Makita saw make sure you use whatever type of saw so you have a guide here your table that's the width that determines where your guides at fairly simple straightforward several radiuses make a jig for each one of them and then get on the job and start cutting them what I will do is I'll show you how quick and easy it is to get started what I want to do is number one I want to pin I want to pin my form to my jig so once I start cutting my slots out of the out of the uh, form that form don't start moving around in there and my in my form I lose my uh, my dimensions and my uh, slots that I want to cut so what I've done is I've pinned it and I, all I did is pre pre-drilled some holes and I'm just poking some standard little nails in there you can use whatever you would like so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I will do is uh, cut it with this jigsaw and it's pretty quick but once once the jig you have to build the jig and that takes you a little while but it's not a, a real time consuming but take your time and build the jig so you have consistent cuts all the way through the form so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few cuts here and show you how easy it is so now I've made all my cuts on the 12 inches on center that I determined was going to, to work on this inside radius. I've cut, and, cut my form, my slots are removed, and what I'll do is I'll pull this form back out of my jig. My slots come out. So now my slots are all cut out of the foam. I had to remove a piece off each end, half of the distance, and then my determined slot for each end and the other thing you need to do on this particular wall or form is I need to cut a little bit out of each I need to, need to make a relief cut inside the form so my form will bend and what I did is I marked the center up there and I'm going to cut down with a, just a regular handsaw and I'm going to cut down about halfway through the foam. Now this, this cut here might, might need to be adjusted a little bit out when we start stacking in the field but I've got the basics cut so now my form will make my shape and so Ideally, if you can get into a controlled environment and get these all cut before you're out on the job site or designate somebody out on the job site with an adequate table to where you can get 
you know, a bunch of forms cut and get it done efficient. So what I've done is there's my, my form. I'll show you what I've did here now. I make a, a template wherever I'm cutting this and then I'll pre-bend some and uh, glue them together just to show you how we did it. One of the things I like to do when, when I do set up a, uh, a radius uh, jig, I like to come and give myself a template to use as a guide to make sure I'm gonna fit that radius. So what we've did here is we've, I have my eight foot inside radius, I'm using the inside of the form, and this is one of the methods you can use. Now there's other methods, but you need a guide at the bottom to hold your bottom course to the bend of that radius. And what I've did is I took quarter inch plywood, three ply, and then I, I just set up a jig and I cut my radius on here. What I would do is I would go down through here and shoot this down to the footing or an area where I, I can set up my jig. And by doing that, I've, I've already made some pre-bent forms, but what, what that allows me to do is pull my form to this, to this dimension of that eight foot inside radius and that'll, that'll maintain my integrity of that eight foot. So I'll be able to pull that, shoot this down and I'll be able to pull my form by screwing through the plywood into the form and it will, it'll give me the final pull that I need to get these to fit just right, perfect. So then what I've done is I'm, I've set up this, this template here and I've already pre-glued pre a couple of forms together which this is gonna allow me once this is shot down to screw in here and hold hold this dimension and then where I, what I can do is I can come back later after I've cut my forms and I can stick them on top here and maintain that I've, I'm maintaining my radius and now what I have is my form that I cut over there on a jig and I can double check to make sure that this form is going to work and hold my my radius and the other thing I could do is I can also take and glue all my bottom course together and have it already pre-bent to make my bottom course much easier to, to manhandle when I'm down there getting started off the footing or the slab so what I would do is I'd cut me at least all my bottom course and have me a template made up to where I can pre-bend them and glue them together and what I would do if I'm doing that, and it's not absolutely necessary, but it makes it a little bit easier to get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one form together and I'm gonna stick it back on top of this one and that'll help hold my shape. So I'm gonna turn my glue gun on and I'm gonna glue in between each one of these slots so that will hold. So now I've got it glued. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work this form back on top of this one that's pre-bent and that will hold my shape. Is I want to use our vertical wire hook. I'm going to hook this together to hold till my glue sets up and I'll go back and I'll start cutting some more. And I also will pin my top together. I can use a nail or a screw and pin that top together and that'll hold my shape on this uh, radius. So that way when I go to start my bottom course, I'll have all my forms pre-bent pretty close to what I need with my, my track shot down to the footing. I'll be able to accomplish a uh, nice radius and it'll turn out to where it'll hold that shape.